a foreign product. Buy local and use home advantage. I think we're all moving to your house. Introducing Boom Force Multipurpose Thick Bleach. Cleans to a sparkle and kills germs all around the house. Boom Force Multipurpose Thick Bleach. Blast, clean, protect. Trade Kings. Improving lives. Welcome. You are on Zapam Tima TV show again, brought to you courtesy of Gavi Beverages, the manufacturers of Elixir Kombucha. And of course, it's got to be Diamond TV. We are in for a gas. Today's show is explosive. It's going to be a gas. I have in the studio a special, <coughs> special guest. So join me on the other side as I introduce our guest. And of course, we're going to look at our health tip for today. On the other side, only on Zapam Tima. Hello, welcome back. Yes, um, for our health tip uh, today, we're going to talk about junk food. Now, junk food is not very good for your body. You know, it triggers those, you know, happy centers in your brain, which cause you to overeat. So make sure you avoid junk food as much as possible. Cook your food, eat it, let it be healthy for you. It's very, very important to keep your body healthy. What you eat is what you are. And of course, drink a little kombucha. It's 100% natural. And coming to our guest, wow, 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 wow. Our guest on the show is no stranger to many Zambians. This is a man born 1952, son of a reverend, a veteran a broadcaster, a man who's done exploits. Ambassador Frank Mtuila. Welcome to this interview. Thank you very much. And I, I take it um, <laughs> Zapam Tima means uh, matters of the heart? Yes, matters okay. of the heart. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. yeah. Ambassador, do you even have the slightest idea how many of us you've just, you know, influenced to get into broadcasting? <laughs> to be honest, it's, um, it's an honor. You know, I, um, I didn't think I would last this long, you know, but, you know, God, you know, well, does wonders and um, you know I owe everything to to God and I mean for your information you know I turn I clock 50 years in the media next month Wow yep 50 years absolutely straight I walked into the corridors of ZBS then yeah in 1970 <laughs> December so Zambia I Broadcasting Services no ZNBC no no <laughs> you know a place which was a heaven of great talent mm -hmm. you know during our time when i joined i think we were about um 23 i think wow 23 of some of the base talented uh you know what people have ever come across i mean people like fred chunga yeah people obviously charles mando yes, yes. mansi charlie mm -hmm. mario mario yes manasse perry mm -hmm. mattel perry mm -hmm. a guy to solo mm -hmm. the talent was uh immense wow. you know it, it, it's an honor really for me Mm -hmm. not to join at that time you know uh, surrounded with such a uh, talent unfortunately mm -hmm. <laughs> most of them have passed on yeah. 
uh, I think there are only about two or three remaining. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the only one from that lot. Oh, yeah. We still are, you know, in a practicing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. You're, 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 a, you're a brand. You know, you've, you've coined yourself so well. You know, I remember when I was growing up. I mean, I watched you. You, you know, we we'll call you. We nicknamed you in our home. Yeah. Kamzungu. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the day, oh, friend, this is happened to you. The, the, day, really, the days really when I had, the I had uh, wet look. Oh yes, uh, wet look and and yeah yeah. I've done it all. Wow. We used yeah. to put on you know um, shoes that high. Yes, yes, yes. Very tight jeans. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Young and handsome. Wow. I'm Frank. Yeah. You know where the Kamzungu came came from? No. Yep. I think uh, you you're a role model when it comes to accent. Right. For most of us when we were growing up and. I know there are all those veterans and all, but you stood out in a way because there's just a way you came mm -hmm. out and then it was mm -hmm. Frank. If it's Frank to be right, yeah. it's Frank to be right. Come yeah. zungu, come zungu, and like. yeah. uh, do you do you do you ever speak Venak? I've never heard you. Chiwemba, Chinyanja. I can. You know, I spent quite a bit of my time on the cobalt. I was born on the cobalt. Okay. And you know, us guys who were born on the cobalt are absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not the guys in Lusaka, you know, who uh, are pretentious. <laughs> we're the real people. Yes. Uh, Chiben Bandalanda. Uh, wow. Chamtown. Okay. Yeah, you know, I come from Shinsali. You know, yeah. that's where my roots are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I spent uh, quite a bit of time on the Cobalt. belt. Mm -hmm. Spent quite a bit of time uh, in Kabwe. Yeah. And then I, I came to Lusaka in 1970. Mm. Mm -hmm. 1970? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, straight wow. into, uh, into the media. Mm -hmm. You know, at that time, you won't believe it. I just started playing football for City of Lusaka. I played in the same team as Peter Mung. Mm -hmm. Yeah, football is my passion. Wow. I I love football. Yes. I mean, I've heard your commentary. The rest of the things are secondary. Mm. Mm? I didn't um, know that. I had to change my wedding day because of football, and my ex-wife didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes in between me and wow. football, wow. especially Man United. You are on. Uh, Zapam Tima, brought to you courtesy of Gavi Beverages. Meet me on the other side. Zapam Tima. Energize the natural way. Elixia Kumbucha. Drink healthy, live healthy. Welcome back. You are on Zapam Tima and we are talking to Ambassador Frank Mutuvira. Wow, wow, wow. What an honor to have tell you. Tell me about this drink. I will in a moment. Okay. Uncle Frank, tell me something. Yeah. You know, Frank Talk is a program that I think deserves yeah. to be on the Zambian TV. Mm -hmm. Um are you reviving it or if not who would you like you know takes the mantle well it's very difficult to pass it on to somebody else you know because it's a personalized personalized show mm -hmm. you know named after you know my, my name yeah, double sure. meaning uh -huh. um it was a great show mm -hmm. you know i think i picked too early i was young oh, yeah. fearless mm -hmm. aggressive you know there were no boundaries mm -hmm. <coughs> when i was doing that uh, you know show mm -hmm. I tried to revive it, but I discovered that you know, I was just not as good. I was the way I was when I originated the, the show. But you never know. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. I may think of bringing it back. Mm -hmm. It was one of my longest um, you know, talk radio, mm -hmm. but I've had a lot of programs, as you know. Oh, yeah. um, I'm, I'm one of the initiators of uh, Let the People Talk. Yes. My long, I think it's been running now for the last 26 years. Mm -hmm. My longest show still, you know, running mm -hmm. is Quacho Good Morning Zambia. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. I think yes. maybe even almost 40 years. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. so um, I'm privileged, you mm -hmm. know, the longevity mm -hmm. that has been there. I'm, you know, I'm blessed mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, most of the programs I've right. been involved in have been pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your life in general. Yeah. How many kids has it been like, and, you know, Mm -hmm. What 
what would you say about your life? I know sometimes I'm an enigma, you know, and I enjoy it. You know, I, you know when I when I hear people say so many things about me, you know, most of the things yeah. they're not true, but that's part of being, a, you know, a, a personality. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Exactly. I've been married twice. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Sadly, divorced twice. Yes. Which is not a good record for a son of a reverend, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we course. can we can live with that. <laughs> yeah. I've got um, you know three children. Oh yeah. Okay. My firstborn is forty-four. Okay. Yeah, he li he's been li living in England since he was nine years old. Wow. He's uh, Mumamba. I think it's like a drum. Mumamba. The name Mumamba. It's like a drum. My second born is 37. Mm -hmm. Mwamba. Okay. He lives in uh, Philadelphia. Okay. With two kids. You were saying. My last born, Mubanga. Mm -hmm. uh, she's 33. Mm -hmm. With three kids. You know, I mean, she, she's one of my best friends. Mm. She's actually now one of my co-presenters mm -hmm. on the breakfast show at Capto FM oh, yeah. in, every Thursday. Very talented. Yeah. Obviously, she carries my genes. Mm -hmm. So those are my three amazing friends. They're all, they, all of them are my friends. Mm -hmm. My first born <clears throat> is the only one who calls me dad. <laughs> my second born in Philadelphia calls, calls me pops. Wow. I told him, don't call me pops. It's in Shima in Zambia. <laughs> and my last, my last born um, in Omobanga calls me Uncle Frank. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. I'm proud of them. Excellent. I'm really, really proud of them. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's been a roller coaster. Um, what would you say about today's crop of journalists, in your own view? Do you think it's as it was before, or there's a very big difference, or what would you say? I'll be selfish and uh, blow our trumpet, you know, then I just churned out, mm -hmm. you know, talent. Yeah. We had immense in a, in a talent, mm -hmm. right? We, I must say, I can safely say, we were born broadcasters, mm -hmm. okay? We enjoyed the job. It was not about money. Mm -hmm. It was about, you know, passion. Yeah. A bit different now. Uh, because of the economic situation, yes, a lot of you know young men and women get into into broadcasting for wrong reasons. One, perhaps, is the readily available job. Two, seeking fame. Mm -hmm. Those two, mm -hmm. it's totally different. Mm -hmm. um, the sad thing is, I think there's very little research mm -hmm. in their work. Oh, yeah. Right now, mm -hmm. we don't. We didn't have co computers during our time, mm -hmm. okay. But we worked hard. Oh, yeah. We did our own, you know, research. Mm -hmm. We read a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, reading was part of our job, mm -hmm. part of our passion, mm -hmm. which is not the case now. It was a little harder. Yeah. But you still managed to bring out the yeah. best. Yeah. You are on Zapam Tima, and we are talking to Ambassador Frank Mtuira. Join me on the other side. Zapam Tima. Drink healthy, live healthy with Alexa Kombucha. Alexa Kombucha, a magical medicine of naturally carbonated health drink. I love you, baby girl. I love you too. Dad is here! Cheers! Welcome back, you're on Zapam Tima, and we're looking into the life of Ambassador Frank Mtuvira. Yes, uh, continue, Ambassador, with your thought. Yeah, yeah, you know, the other thing that we had, we competed against each other, mm. but it was healthy competition. Oh, yeah. We learned from each other. Mm. We learned the ropes. Yeah. You know, um, I find it very surprising these days. Mm. 
that uh, a young man a young woman mm -hmm. after joining for six months one year yeah. that person is already reading the news the <laughs> news is a flagship oh, yeah. okay you you just can't go on the news desk after six months when i joined i joined as an announcer oh yeah i was announcing messages sport mm -hmm. messages mm -hmm. whatever information yeah. behind a camera card mm -hmm. it took me six months before I was, you know, I was uh, presented, yes. you know, on the screen. Mm -hmm. So basically, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying is that we moved in stages. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gained experience mm -hmm. before doing, you know, programs which are the flagship, you know, mm -hmm. of the uh, the station. Mm -hmm. The other thing, you know, I've already, you know, made reference to, about <coughs> lack of seeking information. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. lack of watching other. You know, uh, media personnel yeah. on BBC, yeah. on yeah. CNN, mm -hmm. reading a lot. Mm -hmm. All that is lacking. Oh, yeah. So, this could be the reason why we're seeing a lot of mediocre out yeah. there. Yeah. Because it really is there. No doubt about it. There's so much mediocrity. Mm -hmm. And yet, these mm -hmm. young men and women mm -hmm. have got computers. Mm -hmm. yeah. All the information yeah. is there. <laughs> it's right before that. Yeah, I think most of them are, are lazy. Mm -hmm. There are some who are brilliant, <laughs> but most of them are, are lazy. And I keep on telling them, yeah. I said, mm -hmm. I've never had anybody who has died from hard work. No, not at all. Wow. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you share the highest and the lowest in your profession as, as um, a journalist or broadcaster? I think my, my highest is when I was given an, an award, I think mm -hmm. much later in my career. Yeah. I think 2002, if okay. I'm not mistaken, I was given an award, mm -hmm. you know, named after President Kaunda as the base, you know, uh, broadcaster in wow. Zambia. Wow. I think really, you know, it was initiated by Misa. Mm -hmm. Really for me, that was my highest. Okay. My lowest mm -hmm. is when, in fact, two, two incidents. Yeah. One when my friend Charles Mando mm -hmm. was fired, okay, for no apparent reason, I think for wrong reasons, yeah. because yeah. we were extremely close, yeah. I also left. Ah, I yes. left briefly yes. because yes. of solidarity oh, yes. for, my, for yes. my good friend. Yes. That was one of my <coughs> lowest. Another low point mm -hmm. in my career mm -hmm. is when I read the news mm -hmm when uh, the Zambia national team died, oh, perished. Yes. yes. Uh, I still remember it was, it was during lunch hour mm -hmm. when this story came through. Uh, Peter Mwemba was supposed to read the news, mm -hmm. but he just couldn't take it. Yeah. It was too big for him. Mm -hmm. So I, I read that news. It was not easy. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. for me was uh, my lowest because I, I knew yeah. most of those guys. Yes, yes. And yes. for me, the love of football mm -hmm. even made it uh, more poignant. Mm -hmm. In the evening, again, I read the news with, uh, you know, Kenneth Maduma. Okay. For me, those are mm -hmm. two incidents really which are closer to my heart. Mm -hmm. Zap Zapantima? Yes. Yeah, you know, closer okay. to my heart. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, you know, I'm thankful to God. I, mm -hmm. I've had um, a wonderful career. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uncle Frank, um, I was chatting with a friend this afternoon. And, yeah. And uh, he told me, he was saying things like, um, if the crop of uh, youngsters we have today yeah. in the country are uh, the ones we had yeah. at the time when KK and his friends were getting independence from mm -hmm. this country, they wouldn't have because the white men could have probably just written a check. Yeah. That's the crop of guys we have today. Yeah. Would you agree that patriotism to some extent has died in the patriotism, country? Patriotism you know, has died. Like I, like I told you, you know, a lot of young men and women are getting into broadcasting because of so it's not just broadcasting. No, because of economic, you know, you know, reasons. Okay, and they get into this profession, like I've said, it's the first available job, so they take it. So any other profession, any other job, passion must be there. Absolutely, you you can't substitute passion. That's what okay. makes the difference. Absolutely. I mean, if I didn't have passion, mm. I would I would not have lasted this long. Mm, mm, I'm 50 mm. years in the media. Mm. You know, next month. Mm -hmm. Every day is a special day. Every day is different. Mm -hmm. And for me, every day is a learning process. Mm -hmm. 
when I served as ambassador in Italy, yeah. when I came back, yeah. I was blessed, you know, to to be chair of Diamond TV, yes. because it bring, it brought me closer to young mm. men and women, yes. aggressive mm. IT, you know, guys. Yes. Okay. Yes. I had yes. to change my style. Mm. Mm. I had to to move with time, mm. to be on par yes. with these young men and women. Yes. It's, if you don't evolve, mm. you'll be irrelevant. So you you still maintain the secret is having an open mind, yeah. being ready to research, being ready to change, make the necessary adjustments. Yes, and also you must ensure that you take criticism on board. Well. Wow. You must develop a thick skin. Well. Wow. There'll be times when people will tell you mm -hmm. you're absolutely amazing you know when they're just okay. playing around with you yeah or they tell you you are rubbish no oh, yeah it's okay but what you do is you must recognize mm -hmm. whether that is genuine or criticism not. genuine you know your praise well i always know you know when i have done something good oh yeah okay if i do something bad i will mm -hmm. i've developed myself as my best critique yeah that is very very important wow if you see that people are praising you every day mm -hmm. just know that there's something you know missing wow there you have it only on zapamtima meet me on the other side zapamtima drink healthy live healthy with Alexa Kombucha. Alexa Kombucha, a magical medicine of naturally carbonated health drink. Yes, you are on Zapam Tima and of course we're still talking to Ambassador Frank Mutuira. Now, this takes me to the next question. Yeah. Uncle Frank, what 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 do you want what do you want to change in the media? I mean, now that you're chief executive officer of a radio station mm -hmm. and of course board chairman, you know, of a TV station, mm -hmm. what would you really want to change? Very simple. Yeah. I'm running a, um, a radio station mm -hmm. called Capital FM. Yeah. Right? It's the only proper talk radio. Why did I start this radio station? Mm -hmm. Because the media is polarized. Mm -hmm. When I came back you know, from Italy, mm -hmm. I found that it's so difficult to know who is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. you got public media yes. with their own agenda. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you got private media. Mm -hmm. With his own agenda yes there's nothing you know, in between mm -hmm. nobody who you can rely on who is going to give you a balanced side of the story mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we cover governance issues mm -hmm. we rarely cover you know hot political issues not that we don't want to do that you know because it's because we found that there's just too much politics oh yes too much and oh, people yeah. are tired people want information mm -hmm. You know, that is going to change their lives. Mm -hmm. That is why every time when some people sp uh, stop me and they say, thank you for that, bro that, that program, mm -hmm. you impacted me. I want my staff, I want my station mm -hmm. to be relevant to governance uh, you know, issues. Mm -hmm. Governance mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. as against a political mm -hmm. you know, agenda. A lot of media stations are taking their sides. Either they are with the opposition, mm -hmm. or they are with uh, the, the, the party of the day. Mm -hmm. We're not like that. Mm -hmm. We're simply profession, mm -hmm. professional people mm -hmm. who want to make a difference yeah. to this wonderful country. So we are talking objectivity. Absolutely, wow. absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't put our opinion mm -hmm. 
in whatever we we provide information, mm -hmm. relevant information. We provide information mm -hmm. that is going to make it easy, yes. you know, for our listeners to make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. How how plausible is it for Zambian media houses to remain profitable and unbiased <laughs> in Zambia? You can be profitable. You can. There's one key thing that you must have: mm -hmm. content. The beauty about Zambians is that they'll buy anything that is of quality. So if your programs are of quality, mm -hmm. okay, our driving force yeah. at Capital FM mm -hmm. is content. Mm -hmm. And people will buy you know, into content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is you know, what is driving us. Yeah. If you would live your life differently, I mean if you would live your life again, mm -hmm. chance, what would you do differently? I'm not sure you know whether I'm I'll do things differently. Mm. Perhaps I'll find um, a cure, for lack of a better way of putting it, mm -hmm. for my failings at uh, at marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that I, I am very strong, but mm. that just I couldn't. I couldn't. I felt maybe if I had to turn the clock backwards, mm -hmm. I would have loved to do better okay. in terms of uh, you know relationship. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that that really. Okay. Yeah. Uncle Frank, what lessons from your marriage, uh, you know, life can you give to others, you know, and those getting married, those who are about to get mm -hmm. married, those who are, what lessons did you give from your experiences? Communication. Wow. Communication. If there's no communication in, in a relationship, mm -hmm. in a marriage, you're going to have, you know, serious, you know, problems. Mm -hmm. And your marriage should be transparent. Mm -hmm. And respect, mm -hmm. you know, equal position mm -hmm. with with your with your spouse. Yeah. Okay, but honesty. Yeah. But the biggest that stands out. Yeah. You know, for me, mm -hmm. you know, and I've proved this with a number of um, couples, friends yeah. who are still married. We've been married for a long time. Yeah. Couples that pray together mm -hmm. last a lifetime. Wow. Prayer. Excellent. Yeah. Eyes, the footballers say, eyes on the ball. Yeah. In marriage, eyes on God. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Eyes on God. Mm -hmm. You on Zapam Tima, and we'll be back with the quick question session on Zapam Tima. Ambassador, mm -hmm. it's time for the quick question session. Yeah. This one, I need an answer in. Five seconds. If you can, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> it's I a quick like one. It's a rush. I All right. Let's, I like let's that. See. This is my, my favorite. Yeah. Ever lied, ever lied about your age? No. Ever blacked out from booze? Yes. <laughs> What's the fastest speed you've done on the road? 150. <laughs> is it fine for a man to cry? Yes. I cry a lot. I'm a Gemini. Wow. <laughs> um... Polygamous or monogamous? Monogamous. Okay. Given a chance, um, can you enter the political life? No. It's a, it's, it's a fake career. Come on. No, I'm too frank. <laughs> I am too frank. I I have no guts to go and start lying <coughs> to the electorate. Okay, all right. Thank you so yeah. much. All right. We got it. Yeah. Favorite holiday destination? Um, Mauritius. Strangest food you've ever tasted? Um, I don't think, I don't have any, no, wait a minute, crocodile meat. Well, okay. Your type of music? R&B. Okay. Can you sing? A little bit. Try something? Oh, no, and unless you, you can, you can, <laughs> you can find me a beautiful woman, <laughs> accompany, accompany, then I'll sing for her. Thank you, Uncle Frank, you've been amazing. <laughs> it's really been an honor. Thank you so much for having come. Thank and, you so uh, much. You know, I mean, awesome. all the base that with uh, with your program. Oh yeah. And of course, Dam on TV. Yes. I'll leave you with one advice, yeah. which really is my belt. Okay. It's the thing that drives me. It's the thing that drives my stuff. Oh yeah. Do your best. God will do the rest. Wow. That's it. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Uh, from Gabby Beverages. Uh, fantastic. Yes, please. It's an honor. Yes, yes, and um, you're yeah. welcome, Ambassador. This yeah. here is a clock. Um, yeah, but uh, in the meantime,
yeah. yeah. Um, it's 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 a wake up clock. Okay. It's, it's a wonderful table yeah. clock. Yeah. You tap your table, it illuminates. Really? Yeah. It will give you the time. It will give you temperature in the room and all that. It's a small token yeah. from uh, Gabby Beverages. Brilliant. So, Ambassador, we are honoured. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, it's my honour. Yeah. There you uh, go. You're welcome. Yeah. And there you had it. Thank you very much. Until next time on Zapam Tima. Bye bye. class thank you for inviting me today now who can tell me the best way to protect our homes from those nasty germs that even want to make your own bathing soap want to take a bath okay go ahead son at our house we use boom force multi-purpose deep bleach because it's three times stronger well at our house we've been using x like forever we use it